सो दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर ऑफ गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू मिथलॉजिकल इंजीनियरिंग इन ग्रीन सैंड मोल्डिंग द कास्टिंग डिफेक्ट रिजल्टिंग फ्रॉम द डिसप्लेसमेंट ऑफ मोल्ड केविटी बाई एन ओवर साइज कोर इज नोन एज ऑप्शन आर गिवेन एयर विच इज क्रश हॉट टीयर ब्लो एंड फिन सो यू कैन ऑल्सो रेफर एन पी टी एल लेक्चर ऑन सैंड कास्टिंग डिफेक्ट पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू and basically this lecture comes under metal casting course by dr d beni karunakar from department of mechanical and industrial engineering iit roorkee so uh, before uh, answering this we will first understand uh, all these types of defect one by one so if you see the option a uh, which is a defect named crush so poor molding practice like major cause of crush in the casting so it happened due to poor molding practice right and what happen in the crush is basically here if you use a uh, an oversized core so if over size core is used it will displace the sand in the mold cavity right so due to oversized core what will happen a displacement of sand in the mold cavity will occur or like uh, uh, if you are not if you are using a correct size core and um, and you are handling it uh, very carelessly so other reason is careless closing of mold so if you carelessly uh, close the mold uh, again what will happen the sand in the mold cavity will be displaced and uh, that will lead to a uh, crush defect so some of the other reason of this crush defect can be uh, improper alignment of flask equipment or uneven flask joint bad fitting jackets or like bad bottom board all these like uh, types of uh, mishandling will lead to unequal pressure on the mold and that finally will lead to displacement of sand in the mold cavity coming to the option b which which is about hot tear right hot tear so hot tear is uh, uh, basically a defect which happens due to uh, differential contraction of casting during solidification so differential contraction of casting during solidification and other reason for this hot tear can be due to uh, like uh, impurities such as um, sulfur if uh, such impurities is present in in the alloying element that will also cause hot tear Uh, in the casting the other probable reason for hot tearing can also be long freezing range long freezing range of the alloy which uh, you are uh, choosing for the casting right so in order to avoid this hot tearing what you can do is so as a remedy you can use exothermic pads or what you can do is like uh, avoid the uh, alloying element which is having impurity so which is nothing but compositional control you have to do or uh, sometime what we do is we add grain refiner also right grain refiner to uh, minimize the hot tearing phenomena right now coming to the option c which is blue so blow or like blow holes is basically smooth cavity they are basically smooth cavity caused by gas in the molten metal
right and like uh, blue can be like blue sometimes we call it a blue hole or pin hole so pin hole is nothing but a small size uh, uh, holes which is present on the surface of casting now coming to the option d which is fin so what is fin fin is basically a thin projection of metal usually found at core print or parting line and like uh, if they are present in excess uh, then uh, it may result to small shrinkage cavity so if uh, the amount of fin is present uh, too much it will lead to a local small sh uh, shrinkage cavity or uh, a run out right so these are the four defects which is mentioned here now coming to the answer of this problem as i already mentioned in option a crush is nothing but it happens due to oversized core used right and uh, here uh, what happen if you use oversized core it displays the sand and the sand will be uh, sand may fall down in the, into the mold cavity and uh, such type of defect can be seen so the right answer for this problem will be option a crush thank you